Hi everyone, um, welcome to this uh, video for my YouTube channel. And in this video, I want to, um, I'm going to draw a mouse. And, um, but most important, I'm going to talk about uh, 10 tips to, uh, uh, for beginner artists and sharing some things that uh, helped me and things that I wished I knew when I was starting out. So the first one is uh, practice daily. Um, this first tip is to practice every day, even if it's just for a few minutes. Consistency is key when it comes to improving your art skills. And the more you practice, the better you'll get. Um, and of course, sometimes it's uh, really hard because maybe you're really busy. And I get it. I, um, once I, uh, I also worked as graphic designer and a UI artist, and that me meant that I couldn't draw as much as I like uh, while I was at work. Um, but what I did, I was uh, yeah, traveling to work in a train and I always had my sketchbook uh, with me. So I was sketching in the, in the, in the train. And it's, of course, it's not optimal because the train it's uh, wobbling, it's uh, distracting, but at least you're using the time you have to, uh, to learn some, uh, some skills. So that is something I can uh, really, uh, really recommend. And it can also mean something else. Maybe you have a lunch break, you can draw uh, on school or, for, or at work. Maybe in the evening you have, uh, an hour time or maybe less that you can fill uh, at least uh, one uh, sketchbook page. And um, yeah, and it can be something like uh, yeah, uh, sketching uh, anything, so focusing on anything. But that's one of the other tips uh, being about uh, basically the next tip. So tip two, focus on the fundamentals. The second tip is to focus on the fundamentals of drawing. This includes things like line, shape, form, perspective. Mastering these skills will provide a strong foundation for all your future artwork. Um, so, yeah, what I uh, mean with that is, uh, of course, uh, it's really important to draw for fun. But it's also important to work on your fundamentals. Um, let me show quickly some some one. So what I really believe is important is uh, yeah using construction. So I draw all my characters with uh, these basic shapes like uh, a ball, and a cylinder, or an, uh, a cube. And with these three shapes, I can basically draw anything I want. So check out my other tutorials for more tips about that. Uh, but also, for example, when I'm drawing a pose, like uh, a running character, I use the line of action. And that may, uh, helps me for uh, movement. For example, if I'm drawing this running character, if you see this here, I use this uh, line of action. Um, yeah, for the movement. And that's something you can practice with um, uh, when you're doing uh, gesture uh, drawing. So when you're uh, drawing models and then you practice the action line or the construction and so on. But here, try to see that flow uh, together with those, uh, those shapes. Another fundamental thing is uh, perspective. The most simple one is a one point perspective. So go practice that. For example, practice drawing uh, a box in a one point uh, perspective. So this really rough one. So here, draw, practice drawing a box in, uh, in one point uh, perspective. And once you're able to do that, try to draw uh, a background in perspective or a simple object. A still life drawing, uh, draw an apple or, or something other. So those fundamentals will really help you learning how to draw, also paint and color theories, etc. So, uh, yeah, and then I come to the next point, uh, experiments with different tools uh, and materials. 
The third tip is to try out different tools and materials to find works, what works best for you. There's no uh, one size fits all approach to drawing. So don't be afraid to experiment with pencils, pens, markers, and other materials to see what feels most comfortable. Um, I mostly draw on my Wacom Cintiq uh, with uh, Adobe uh, Photoshop on a uh, PC. And I also have an, uh, uh, an, uh, um, an iPad. So uh, I also draw on that and I draw a lot in my sketchbook. And I actually like drawing in my sketchbook more than on my iPad because, yeah, for my uh, daily work, I just use um, the PC. And I think I, I like when I'm in the evening on the couch, I like to draw in my sketchbook instead of the iPad. Uh, but yeah, uh, could be anything. So uh, advice, try to... Play with different apps, software, um, pencil, pen, anything. It's up to you what you like most. I like to draw with uh, pencils when I'm drawing on paper. Uh, for B, soft, uh, softness, really soft pencils. And uh, in my sketchbook, and I try to, I just go to the local store and test out different stuff. I don't, I try to get uh, my uh, sketchbook as cheap as possible. Um, just because, um, yeah, then I'm not worrying about wasting any uh, any paper. So uh, tip four, study from life. The fourth tip is to study real life objects and scenes. This will help you improve your observation skills and make your drawings more accurate and uh, lifelike. So, um, yeah, what I mean with that is uh, even if you're... Uh, like uh, like me, drawing a lot of cartoon stuff, it really helps to uh, draw from uh, from life. For example, um, for for this mouse, even it's really simplified and, and cartoony. I uh, yeah I looked at uh, how, uh, different mouses. And I got some inspiration about the ears and stuff like that. Uh, what I sometimes like to do is, uh, yeah, just use uh, Google or something and um, learn and just make an, a copy of the, the photo um, or go to the zoo. And you don't have to be, especially when you're a cartoon artist like me, you don't have to be a really good realistic artist. It just it's about understanding what you see, right? And that you can translate that to a cartoon version. But I do believe the better you get at realistic drawing, that will really help you uh, as well with more stylized uh, art. So yeah, go outside, go to the zoo or use photos or go to model drawing. It can uh, really, uh, really help. Um, so tip five, seek feedback. The fifth tip is to seek feedback from others. Getting constructive criticism on your art can help you identify areas for improvement and grow as an artist. So it really helps getting feedback because um, of course you can see stuff uh, yourself, but you like to improve and what you uh, want to get better in. And um, yeah, that's that's uh, yeah, that's totally fine. But it really helps getting feedback from other people because they look with a different view on your your work. And of course, always take it with a bit of grain of salt. Um, it's up to you what you take with you and what not. And it's about constructive uh, feedback, right? So uh, it's not about uh, yeah. Um, yeah, not, not nice uh, feedback, but um, yeah, con consider the feedback. Try to think about it. Try to see if you agree with it or not, if you can understand it. Maybe if you don't understand it, uh, ask about it and don't take it personally. Um, and for me, those 
the feedback really uh, helps really well. I did online courses where I got feedback. And um, what I also had was when I was doing an uh, internship, I got uh, contact with artists and I got uh, feedback uh, feedback from, uh, from them. So that was really, uh, yeah, really useful for me. So try to find some place where you can feed, find feedback, online courses, teachers, um, maybe other artists, um, if you have uh, Instagram or other social media, uh, you can get in contact with uh, different uh, artists. There are a lot of, I think, Discord groups for, that you can join for drawing. So try to, to find. So and I also have a Patreon page where there's a Discord group and I also do uh, feedback uh, in my Patreon uh, to help uh, people out. So maybe check that out. And there are a lot of places where you can get feedback, but it really helps because, yeah, you don't always see, um, yeah, um, your own mistakes. Uh, learn from others. The sixth tip is to study the work of other artists you admire. Try to emulate their technique and styles to learn uh, new ways of approaching your uh, artwork. And I think the, the right phrase is... Uh, don't copy, but, but steal. And meaning that you try to understand how artists uh, work. So, for example, I, I try to do that with my tutorials. I try to uh, make them so that you can follow the steps and learn the technique I'm using. So you can apply that to your own characters. And if you do that with different artists, uh, and you suck all that uh, in, and you create your own uh, own style by combining all those different things. And yeah, I also learned what I did was when I was younger, I was drawing a lot of Looney Tunes characters and Disney characters, really trying to uh, get as close as possible as I could uh, be. And that way, I really learned a lot about how to uh, draw, uh, draw different uh, characters. So I can really uh, encourage that. So, uh, so yeah, just uh, look up your favorite artist. And maybe another tip, try to find their inspiration. Um, yeah, what was their favorite artist? Uh, yeah, get to find that out. Where did I, they learn? how to draw from and etc. So it's it's quite easy nowadays with the internet to find uh, those uh, those sources. So yeah, Google that, do research. Um, and also, yeah, try to analyze uh, the arts you like and also ask yourself, why do you like uh, the art? So that's something I can really recommend. Um, yeah. Tip seven, break things down. The seventh tip is to break down complex objects or scenes into smaller shapes and forms. This will help you tackle difficult drawings more easily and make your artwork more dynamic. Yeah, as you can see that I drew this, uh, started drawing this mouse. I started with a ball and then uh, adding shapes on top of that. And um, yeah, when I'm studying people artwork, I... Uh, basically do that. I try to understand how did they make those things. And uh, for example, you can also study a movie and then try to analyze what kind of composition did they use. And um, yeah, I would recommend uh, watch some background uh, tutorials to, to learn those things, but then you can apply that if you see a background, and then you can find the perspective, the composition, but also the char characters. You can find the line of action. You can find the types of lines they used, how did they painted it, uh, and so on. So, yeah, break things down. When things are complex, break things down. Sometimes when I'm drawing hands, I try to use uh, basic shapes to break them down and make it more simpler. Uh, Etc. So yeah, that's also what you can see in my tutorials often, where I try to break it down in easy steps, 
as, uh, as possible. Uh, tip uh, eight, draw from imagination. Uh, the eighth tip is to use your imagination to create your own characters and scenes. This will help you develop your own style and create unique artwork. Yeah, and that's the whole thing, that if you get a lot of inspiration from other artists, you suck that in, and then you can, um, if you start using your Im imagination and train your head, you're going to use all that knowledge to create something that's uh, a mixture, that's, that's, and that's also using your own uh, personality in it and, and etc. So, uh, and also, yeah, uh, try to, uh, yeah, try to come up with an own story, especially when you're making a portfolio uh, and you, for example, you want to work at animation and you want to create a portfolio for it, start making a portfolio project. Start, uh, uh, yeah, start being the artist you want to be. Start doing as if you're already working for Steven Spielberg, right? Uh, meaning that you can... Um, so here he is. Here. Um, meaning that you are already trying to... Uh, for example, you're drawing a character and then you're drawing a lineup, the whole family, draw a turnaround all that, uh, that stuff, but also try to come up with a story, use your imagination. And um, also besides having, uh, practicing the fundamentals, yeah, also also do that, try to develop um, your own uh, your own taste. Um, tip nine, take breaks. The ninth tip is to take breaks to avoid burnout. Strong can be intense work, so make sure to breaks often to rest and recharge. Are really important because if you want to become an artist, it means a lot of hard work, a lot of hours uh, behind the desk. And try to remember it takes a lot of time to uh, become an artist. So take your time uh, for that. Uh, don't try to go uh, too, too hard. Try to remember that people overestimate what they can do in, uh, uh, in, uh, in, in a year and they underestimate what they can do uh, over, and they overestimate what they can do in, uh, in a week. So take small steps and uh, yeah, enjoy it. And um, when you're feeling burnout, yeah, take, take a rest, go do something else. Keep uh, meeting friends, keep doing uh, stuff. Uh, go watch a movie and uh, yeah, live life. That will also help you with finding inspiration, right? So it's not uh, it's not that it's uh, a waste. It's really important, um, and that way, yeah, you you can better deal with the uh, drone because drone is hard and it takes a lot of uh, headspace, and um, yeah, then it's important to take uh, to to take breaks and stay motivated. And drawing is not always fun, right? It's if you, especially if you're doing it as a job, it's, uh, yeah, for example, for me, it's a job and drawing is not always fun. Sometimes uh, I really see it as uh, work and that's fine. That's totally normal, at least for me, when you're doing something that much, even if you really like it, yeah, it's, you're doing it over and over again. So sometimes you're you're not that motivated, but um, at least take some uh, take some breaks and be kind uh, to yourself. Um, yeah, that's what I really recommend. If you're seeing back, I was really hard for myself, but uh, being more kinder and have trust. Uh, have, don't doubt uh, too much. When when I was younger, I really had. Uh, yeah, I found it really scary being becoming an artist, and I was working and working, and of course it helped me a lot. But I really wish I took a little bit more breaks, uh, doing more so social stuff. It's that's also really important, right? Because life is more than only drawing. Um, yeah, 
Tip 10, have fun, fun. Finally, remember to have fun. Drawing should be fun and enjoyable experience. So don't put too much pressure on yourself to be perfect. And of course, it's really good to have big goals like becoming, uh, working for a big studio or being an independent artist. Uh, that's, that's fine. But don't be too hard for yourself and, and try to have as much fun possibly as you can um can I can get I really believe to be honest when I um uh, I really used a lot of uh, 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 yeah I really pushed myself so I was really afraid of being not good enough and of course it's it's important to to become as good as you can be but uh, why worry about it? It doesn't help you. You can better enjoy it and uh, don't be too afraid because fear is not a good, it's not healthy to be that, that fearful. So try to have fun and relax and try to, it's really important to um, trust yourself and, and have fun. Maybe... Um, Go draw with friends or something. Go uh, whatever. Uh, I like to go to the bar and uh, and draw with friends. But maybe for you, it's uh, that's uh, that's different. Um, so yeah, that those are my uh, tips, and I hope you find it uh, helpful. If you did, g please give me a thumbs up and subscribe uh, for more drawing tips and tutorials. Uh, see the description for some uh, links for uh, extra courses and um, yeah let me know in the comments if you uh, like these types of videos so i will do more uh, if you have a question drop them in the, the comments i will be happy to answer them and maybe if you want uh, come up with a different uh, topic for the for the next video and i will be happy to uh, uh, yeah, to make some more videos and talk about uh, different stuff, or maybe just show how to how to how to draw. So I so I'm also done with this uh, mouse. I hope you liked the video, and I see you next time. Thanks everyone. Bye bye.